Ta da! I'm back! So, welcome back to the Hawk Moth Project. Uh, as usual. So, um. I hope everybody has a good day today. Because I have. And I want to wish you all a great, a great of luck today. Because, you know, that's what's happening. So. I'm gonna be doing now the Hawk Moth project, so yeah, let's continue with it. And we're gonna go back here. Yeah, there you go. So today we're gonna continue on Wing 2 because we have Wing do 1 already done. We need to go for Wing 2 now. Uh, the reason why I put it out, uh, the reason why I put this off was that it was very confusing for me to watch. So yeah, let's continue with that. And get started. So, this is the wing. It is with the paint layer, so we don't have anything here. Allow me to just get everything fixed. Uh, one there. Oh, so that's what I use. Alright, good. Good to know. Uh, pencil 2, check. And then I'm gonna go for colors, check, size 5, check, get wing 1, get wing 1 on transparency, yeah, like that, awesome. So I just wanted to have that transparent, yeah. Right now I want that. Um so let's see. So we have feathers again. Oh wait, I need to put layer two on it also need to put that on transparency. I also won't be able to draw. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'm gonna continue here and then just do that. So, uh, zooming in. Da -da -da. So, yeah, um, I have everything prepared, so that's good. Feels so empty right now, you know. I'll be able to draw. So oh, come in. Get it fixed. No. So yeah. Today is gonna be a little bit blunt because you know we're gonna draw again on the wing part. Which is always lovely.
So yeah, um, what shall I talk about today? I don't know. Possibly something very simple like, you know, you know how hard it is to draw fetters? Sometimes they get in the way very quickly. But you know, it happens. I'm trying to do my very best to get these things good looking, so, you know. Things like that is always good. And then just move on with it. Blah. I need to put second, I need to put another layer there, just in case of the uh, uh, midsection again. So yeah, um, trying to draw these uh, beautiful feathers again, but you know sometimes it don't work well. The main uh, the main problem with these things is like you know, I need to get a graphic, I need to get the size right. So that's the most problematical thing. I think. But once I'm done with all this beautiful thing, I'm gonna start doing my shit. Alright, fix that part up. Let's take a look at the wings. Yeah, I need to put a white white painting on top of it. Good to know. Uh, so I need to get there. <laughs> so. According to you know all these feathery things, I think I'm getting there. I getting get. I am thinking I am able to get the hang of it, which is quite nice. I say so myself. It's also very funny to see that it all happens. But yeah, I'm trying to get this thing wholly fixed so that you know I can use it then for my next wing. But yeah, um, I hope you'll enjoy, because I'm just doing whatever I do, and that's just drawing these things, you know, 
sometimes drawing these things are quite difficult. I am trying to keep my focus on my on my screen so that I'm not be able to make mistakes now. But you know, sometimes mistakes are unforgivable. Sometimes mistakes are unavoidable. You know. Mistakes are very some nasty things uh, to deal with, but you know, you're never supposed to go side down because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see what you are trying to do. So mistakes are always normal to happen, especially when you try to draw. So yeah. I am gonna go now to you know continue drawing this. Probably gonna be taking an hour just to draw one part of the wing again. So no need to worry about that. I won't get to it, but you know, eventually this will be this will be quicker done the other one before because it is less work. Still, it is a lot of work, but it is less. I think the easiest part is gonna be the body and then you know from there on I'm gonna move towards the legs and from there on I'm gonna walk uh, move towards the uh, bottom side so don't worry about anything I'm just getting my stuff done Tomorrow I'm gonna be, um, yeah, wait, I need to tell you that. Yes, I need, need to tell people that. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna talk to a little man, or well, a man I'm gonna be talking to, and that man is gonna be giving me access towards printing on a big paperwork, because, you know, I'm still working on my boat project because of the, uh, you know, it needs to be put on it needs to be put on a wall but you know it needs to be this, the right amount size it needs to be the uh, it needs to be able to uh, put on a wall which you know some because sail, uh, plastic seal does not work so yeah it, uh, it's gonna be printed out again the book project is going to be printed out again, but this time on the right uh, on the right on the right thing, and then it should be fine. Then the project is finally fully finished. It was already finished, but you know it needs, still need to do some little things. But uh, you know now it's fully finished. So tomorrow I'm going to be talking to that person, and then you know get everything on the move to finally get everything fixed. So yeah, you know. That's what I'm gonna do. Also today I'm very happy because of you know I'm finally got every information that I needed from my from for my little sister. So I'm very happy about that because then I know like oh I need to have that I need to have that I need to have that so yeah I supposed to be not worrying about this but you know I did a little bit I was a little bit nervous. But so far, I'm not nervous right now, so I'm happy. Plus, I'm trying to draw blood in them feathers, so. And you know, feathers. Once all these feathers are done again, you know, things will look quite well. Which just takes a lot of time. Let's see. If I'm correct, the voice should work, so that's good enough. I hope. I hope I'm talking loud enough. So, hey. but yeah, I'm drawing the feathers again. So, eh. it's nothing very special here. It's just me drawing feathers, and these feathers are the same kind of feathers in beforehand because you know it's all the same. It needs to be all the same texture and then you know go on what non what and on what so but yeah 
I'm trying to do my very best one. So yeah, um, as you can see the feathers are almost near complete here at that place, so eventually you know the feathers will go, pe I will get better at drawing feathers, but you know until then I just need to make sure I have every um, set. Uh, so much work. But yeah, this is going to be 20 minutes again, oh well. 50 minutes, 50 minutes again of drawing, you know, regular old ass feathers. So shouldn't it be, should not be worrying. I'm trying to do my very best, you know, upon getting everything done, so I, you know. So, yeah. Um. So, yeah, the, uh... Let's see. So, once this is all finished, you know, I'm very happy because then I can finally start on coloring again. Uh, I really need to figure out which brush it was again that I used. Uh, that's gonna be a difficult task to do. Because normally, you know, I don't do that much of a thinking like, hmm, what kind of brush did I use again? But yeah, possibly it's gonna be the, um, I think it was the watery brush, the, uh, this one over here, the I think it was this one. The no, not the rough one. Um, no, no, that one, the breeze glance, maybe. This one, this one, I think. Yeah, I think it was this one. But you know, I don't know. Most times. You know, I figure it out always on the on the move again, so I should not be that worried. But you know, coloring is not at hand yet. I'm so glad, but still. Let's see. So since that, I don't want to have some parts of the drawing be visible. I think I need to put some white uh, screening in front of it so that you know I have a different layer upon each place and then you know I know exactly where I need to put it so that I don't erase it. I don't know if that works, but hey, you know, I'm gonna try after this. Uh, after this wing is done, I'm gonna try to see if that works. So I'll put a layer of white before the auto layer so that it will overlap and the white will be actually over the over the other, and then you know you have this part that has been actually masked. But I don't know if that works like that. But hey, you know I'm always willing to check it out if it works. So let's take a look at it. Alrighty, so yeah, it looks nice. Looks nice. And compared to the wing, so this is the wing. And if we then put a white curtain on top of it, so like a curtain right here following the edges of the wing, 
it should not cause any problems with the wing itself because you know it is less than it's less uh, colorization or something like that. But yeah, we're gonna make sure that this is all placed correctly above it. So I don't know. I think I should move the wing then down because I actually wanted to be on top of this, but I need to also be like this. So. Let's just check it out, alright? So we have this whole painting that we have empty. And it's supposed to be on top of everything. So we're gonna make a white white a white thing and then we're gonna go for that the uh, Yeah, for that one I if I'm correct. So yes. This is gonna be white. It's gonna be white, so we're gonna go for a big giant white please of color. Now if we can go for that. Yes, it works. Good. It works. So since that we oh that's a way to make custom blood them. I love it. As you can see this is how it works then. So I'm gonna move you know colors with each other and then boom. It's like an eraser, but unless necessary. Oh man, this is a lot more easier than I thought it would be. But yeah, um, that's how I'm gonna fix it. That's how I'm gonna fix everything. There you go, boom. Sank it wing. Bats. So yeah, that's uh, that's how I'm probably gonna fix it. How I'm gonna fix all this ma all this mess. So yeah, um. Wish me luck on that. Wish me luck on it. But yeah, that's uh, that's how I'm gonna probably fix it, all of it. So yeah, that's how I'm gonna fix it. So as you can see, now I have the wing of, now I have one of the parts of the wing, and I can now actually go for like you know I know that this part here is not allowed to be shown, so. I can just move. I can erase it without erasing it at all. So I don't need to worry about it. Like, I don't need this. I no need the, all of this because this is the new wing that I'm gonna draw upon. So, yeah. This. This is all mine now. So, yeah. Um. That's how I'm gonna be doing it, so probably not the most legit way to do things, but hey, you know, it's uh, it's one way to do it, so I'm happy. Sure. Also, it saves a lot of time, you know, instead of erasing everything, so I'm not doing a destructive work, because, you know, I can just press this and I don't have my wing removed. So I did not do a destructive work, and because I did not do a destructive work, um, it saves your process and therefore you don't erase the original design of your wing. So even though that you created this beautiful wing, you don't destroy it. Um, it might sound a little bit s strange, but yeah, that's how it normally goes. So, I'm now going to be continuing working on this wing. And once once this is done... And once this is not, once this is done, I should have totally changed back to black. There you go. So one, two, three, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, we're gonna now continue, you know, working on our beautiful wing and then eventually we're gonna change, make sure that this wing is actually looking nice and then get everything fixed upon that part but yeah
this is just how I am gonna not do destructive work because I hate it when that happens, you know. I hate it when I try to make something and then I realize like, no, don't do that, that's stupid. And I'm like, yes, I forgot about that. Because I don't want to destroy my uh, wings because of the, it will cause a lot of trouble. And I now finally figured out like how to do this. It's called masking normally, but hey, you know. I cannot be the one that's, you know, called the shots there, but I'm terrible at doing that. And the funny thing is, like, I used this masking once and now, you know, I'm probably gonna be using it more times. Because, you know, I need to place things on the other things and then, you know, remove those other things again from the other things. So, eh. Uh, it's, uh, it's a bit diff difficult, but, uh, you know. Once this is all fixed, once this all things add up, you know, once everything adds up, I think I will be happy. So I need to make sure that I move this on top of that, so that, you know, the painting of a copy of the layer is not on the copy. Oh, it's a copy of, it's a copy of the layer. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's a copy of that. Wait a minute. Hold on. Mm. This is a copy of this. This is a copy of this. Yes, it is. Oh, you, you, you piece of shrek. Hold on. Uh. There you go. It was a copy of the layer that was actually representing the wing. Now if I go to the wing part and it should be gone. There you go. It's gone. Good. Yeah. Let's continue on it. And we're gonna lock those two because those two were sneaky. So yeah, um So these these wings, you know, the these wings that are plenty of I need to make sure that every single wing represents correct correct amount of feathers or something like that. But yes, this is gonna be one, and then we're gonna go down, 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 and it will all make sense eventually. I just need to make sure that everything is working fine. I still don't get it why I don't. I wish I would be able to, you know, switch the the to the projectile towards, you know, up, so, like here, so that I can move it there, but... Why did I do that? Also switch that back to 1, 7, so that I don't have to deal with that problem. Ah, mistakes. So easily done. Yeah. But yeah, eventually the uh, amount of, you know, my feathers are going to be continuing and then I can just change out the, uh, the, the problem that I caused. So I, I'm happy that I'm able to, f and that I found a way to uh, merge the wings with each other without breaking one of the wings down by destructive behavior. That is erasing the one wing part. That I don't want. Now I don't need to because I just put a white screen in front of it. And then, you know, I put a second color in front of that. Therefore, you know, I can use that as coloring layer. So, eh, should not be worrying. So, uh, yeah, let's continue on this uh, beautiful thing. And, uh, yeah, I learned a lot thanks to me, thanks to D. And I hopefully, hopefully, I hope that, you know, my experience might, you know, let you know, like, hmm, that's actually a quite smart move to do something like that, or, you know, that's a stupid idea, don't do it. So, 
I hope those things just, you know, show you what kind of mistakes there are happening sometimes in a work, in a drawing, you know, and how you can get rid of them. Because, you know, it's quite educational to see how other people draw, how other people do their things, and then, you know, you're like, hey, I didn't thought of that. Or, hey, that's a cool move. I didn't know that. Can you teach me? So, yeah, um... I'm trying to do my very best upon getting this done. And um this feathering is taking so long. I just wanted to be done with this, but no. I first need to do one whole more wing and then I need to do a second and then I need to do a third, you know, and then and a fourth, and then I will be done with the wings. But I don't complain about it. I just think about like, oof, that's a lot of work, and I must say to myself, I agree upon that. That's a lot of work. Gladly you found a way to fix it. Yep, gladly I found a way to just, you know, I could have copy and pasted, it, but you know, that sucks. Because the resolution would be different, and you know, once the resolution is terrible, you don't, you don't, you don't do things well. So yeah, um... I hope you'll enjoy this. Just little drawings of me just doing whatever I do. So yeah, this is just a moth project and I'm getting I'm getting close towards you know making the second wing. I'm almost at the start of it, so hey, um eventually it'll get better. Eventually. So, um, since that we have feathers, um, let's talk about them. What are feathers? Well, feathers are actually just, you know, the same things as, na as nails and hair. They're just, you know, a little bit different because they are, you know, longer and have more different hair. So, technically, feathers are hair. So, if something is covered in feathers, you could technically say it's covered in hair, but it has a different property, that's why it's called a feather. I think that's how you can differentiate between feathers and hair. Yeah, probably. And if you put too much hair together, you get... tusks? Yeah, you get tusks and the nose of a rhino. So compressed hair is actually ivory. Um, hair that is actually... hair that actually sp is tough at the first at the first place and then grows to different size, like, you know, it splits into multiple hairs, that's a feather, I guess. So, I would say that's feather? I would say that feathers are almost hair-like like properties, because, you know, they isolate, they give creatures uh, they give creatures isolation, isolation against the we against the heat, they provide flight if necessary, depends on which kind of feather they have. Some feathers are more used for protection, other, other feathers are more used for isolation against heat or against cold. Both depends. Um, then you have hair that can be also very handy dandy because you have spiked hair, you have hair that goes into turning into tusks, you have hairs that go uh, turn into um, keratin, or well, some kind of keratin, so hair like keratin. And that's why you have a pangalia. So rhino has hair, that's, uh, that's called ivory if I'm correct, the ivory horn. You have um, elephants that have hair, that is ivory as well. Uh, oh, it's so difficult sometimes to realize, like, mm, what does, what, how much properties do hair have? Well, some properties are better than others, but, you know, hair can also be used for isolation or contraption of air. That's, you know, with otters, and then you have also the, uh, the other creature that's called a, 
uh, Penguin, which uses feathers to seal away bubbles. These bubbles give isolation when diving into water. Also, their skin is full of fat, which provides them cover and provides with a uh, good isolation. So that's why animals like orcas and uh, sea lions actually want to hunt those penguins because they provide so much fat for so little, so little effort. Well, technically, they don't need effort at all. So yeah, um, let's get started back again here. Let's let's fix this. So we're gonna go back to painting layer, painting layer 16. Close this up. Go back to white, just because you know it takes so little time to do so. Go back to you know covering with this beautiful brush. I think this is the brush I'm normally using, but hey, you know. No way, this is not a transparency brush. Of course, I'm not using this one. No. But yeah, you can see like there is no problems here because now I have actually this wing now correctly done, and you can see that wing does not get affected because I'm drawing on a different layer. So as you can see, I'm drawing on a different layer, so that's why it's not visible. And as long as I'm working on this layer, and then you know go for this, and then I can still draw on this one as well because you know that's how it works. But all right, um. So now I need to figure out how to do this correctly. Um, so I need to have this again. And now we need to work... Alright, this is the... Is this the... Yes, this needs to be actually up there because I need to see my lines. So that's why. Um, do -do 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 -do. Going back to this. Because that's what I'm doing. I wonder what happens if I go now to black. And draw on this Wait, on this why did I make a copy again? what's wrong with me? hmm where's the second copy? Ah, I make copies of it. All right. Uh, uh, remove layer. Yes. I'm making. I'm making. Remove layer. Yes. Um. Oh wait. Remove layer again. Remove layer. So now I have 16. And if I now go for here, I need to push it like that, right? Yes. So now I will remove it. Yes, 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 yes. yes. All right. So, um, hmm, 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 hmm. First things first, um, I realized I was totally not, I was unaware that I needed to copy every single thing. So, what did I do? I, I, pro I put this there. It's not very smart of me. So, I need to move here and I put more feathers there. Alright, so that's what I need to do. And I need to do that. So, this is going to be a difficult one to do because I need to get... I'm gonna get there. I need to remove this one again and then draw upon this.
But yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. I totally forget that this is an option now. I'm always forgetting that this is an option. So yeah, um ugh. This is such a difficult task to do. Because now I need to figure out like what the hell I'm doing. I need to make sure that I put it on black here. And let's see, right now I'll go for here. So I did not use no, I did not use this then. Good. I did not use the black um I did not use this brush to color everything in. I did I did use the I did use the other brush. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I'm just uh, re re thinking things. Mm. So now I can go to here again. Oh no, no, no. I just need to get this one done. Five. So, and then zoom in again. All right, I can do this. So, I only have tw ten minutes left. So, eh, let's do this. It's so funny, you know, that you are busy with something and then you realize, like, oh, yes, I forgot about that. So, yeah. Um, the main problem now I'm dealing with is, like, mm, how am I starting this? Because I now started with the wing, but I know I am a little bit insecure that I might be able to fuck it up again. So, oh well. You know what happens. So well, of course, of course, this is gonna happen again. Better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. Sometimes this happens, and then I need to make sure that it's fixed. Ooh. If I ever want to do a project, you know. This is one of those things that I always need to make sure that I'm doing it right way. I need to do it the right way. Right way. Why so? Because otherwise the feathers won't work correctly. And I hate it when that happens. The feathers don't collide correctly because otherwise I cannot fill things up with the uh, right amount of stuff like um, this place here right now. I always forget that that's a thing, you know. Silly me is always forgetting that. So, need to do that right before I do anything else. Yep. Yep. So, well, uh, these are uh, bye bye. Almost there. 
So I'm trying to get everything here done so I can fix things. Probably doesn't look like a wing now, but hey, you know, eventually it will get there. Just need to make sure that I have everything correct. Yep. Everything needs to be correct. So let's take a look. There you go. So now we have this wing, and we can now go to layer 2 wing. As you can see, this is a little bit of a mess, but uh, I'll fix this. I'll fix this right away. Um, so we're going to go back to the paint layer, switch our brush to this, switch the color to white, and then, you know, start painting again. So I can do this if I want to. Do I want that? No, I don't. I don't want. The, wait, this is the right color. Jeez, I forgot about that. But yeah, I can go for this, and I can erase everything I want. Or do I want to keep? You know this this stuff right there. So I'm probably gonna keep it like this and then be fine. So now we can take a look at it because you know that's important. So we have this beautiful wing right here, and you can see that there is another wing right there, but you know you cannot see it because it is a wing. So we have now this, we're now gonna start with the second wing. So we have this part over there. We're gonna go that that way. There, there. We're gonna, we're just gonna follow it. We're not gonna be doing it correctly because you know this is out of proportion, this is out of proportion. But you get it. So eventually we have a full wing done, and it will look nice. Well, that's the idea of it, anyway. So uh, yes, that's I think what's gonna happen. Anyway, um, our latest. What what time is it? Uh, it's almost time. Well, let's just save it up. So uh, I figured out something. Um, I'm very happy I figured it out how to do that. So yay me. <clears throat> no more longer masks needed because I can just make my own mask by using a white a white screen upon it so that you know it get erased so things stack up uh, on top on top of each other without problems. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. And, uh, thanks for watching, I guess? Yes, thanks for watching. And, uh, I'll see you all next time. And, uh, until then, I hope you all have a nice day. And, uh, bye!